Hi everyone! Thank you so much for such a warm welcome back last week. That was very sweet and it was wonderful to get to chat with you all again and post something. It just felt really good. So I'm back again. I'm fingers crossed <laughs> getting this up uh, on a semi-regular basis. It might be like different days of the week so make sure you are subscribed until I can figure out like, when works for me to be filming and editing. So we're gonna need to be flexible around there, but I've been wanting to talk about this brand for a while, actually since like December, since like the last last time I saw you guys, because I have some products from them that I have been saving to try out and then a few that I've been using, and that is the brand Violette FR. I've been a big fan of Violette on Instagram and also on YouTube. She just makes like very effortless and what feels like very authentic content especially around makeup, very wearable makeup. I think her brand has a very similar approach, which I really like. So I've been recently trying out her Boom Boom Milk. I have a little travel size here, which is what inspired me to actually hop on and talk about these other products too and use them with you guys. Boom Boom Milk is a three-in-one cream spray, um, and I'm actually just gonna spray it onto my hands because I actually prefer to do it this way versus applying it with the spray, I just don't feel like the mist is fine enough and I need to rub it in anyway. I've been using this for about a month now and really enjoying it. I use it as my moisturizer in the morning. So I'll wash my face because I do use actives at night. I'm using the Emma Lewis Ham brand still in terms of skincare and so there's a lot of actives in those products so I definitely want to do a good cleanse in the morning to make sure they're all rinsed off and then I've been applying this boom boom milk which like I said I've actually really been enjoying it's such an easy way <laughs> to do morning skincare I was usually someone who didn't even wash my face in the morning I'm um, just like kind of wiped my eyes and that was about it. So I really like the fact that kind of an all-in-one step and then it also just layers really beautifully under product and SPF. So it's technically morning and I would be going out like a beautiful Sunday afternoon right now. So usually I would put on SPF, but since I'm filming this, I'm probably gonna be editing afterwards. <laughs> I am not gonna put on SPF, but just know that that does a great job underneath SPF. I don't get any pilling and it does leave my skin like a little bit tacky so it's a really nice priming step before makeup. In the spirit of Violette, I'm not gonna do foundation. I rarely do a full face of foundation anyway but especially with her products I feel like the look is kind of less is more so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Glossier stretch concealer. I just saw they came out with a new foundation. That was interesting. And I'm just gonna put that kind of in the center of my face or anywhere where I have a little bit of pigmentation that I just wanna cover up or even out my skin tone. I can hear our neighbors coming home, hold on. Our products are very finger friendly, which I really appreciate because that's how I apply makeup the majority of the time. I'm just gonna breeze through doing my eyebrows and curling my eyelashes really quick because I don't have, I don't even think they make a product yet for your brows. Um, so I'm just using my Westman Atelier brow pencil and I'm just gonna fill them in just a little bit. When I do this on an everyday basis, I'm really light-handed and then I just make sure to brush through. I find that I always have one brow that needs more help than the other. For me, it's this one. <laughs> And now grabbing my brow laminator from Patrick Ta. I'm just going to brush that through my brows, taking off any excess. And then like I mentioned, curling my lashes. I don't think I mentioned this in my last video when I said I bought new eyelash curlers, but I ended up getting the Kevin Aquan lash curlers. I was thinking about getting the very famous Shuamura eyelash curlers, but they're very hard to find unless you buy on their site. And I kind of wanted to like go and see them in person and I couldn't find anywhere to go look at them. When I went to, I think it was Blue Mercury to get these. I was able to like look at them and talk to the woman about them and they came highly recommended. And I can say for sure these Kevin Aquan eyelash curlers are fantastic. I don't get any like Odd clamping at the corners of my eyes which I got with the other eyelash curlers that I had so very happy with these they also feel super gentle and haven't pinched myself at all but maybe I've just gotten better at using eyelash curlers I don't know on my eyes I'm gonna use a little bit of this eyeshadow and these I know people have like a love-hate relationship with they last so well they are extremely pigmented so a little goes a long way so you do have to be careful with application 
foundation. I have personally not tried this just as a liner, but what I do to, you know, make sure that I only apply the amount that I want is I just put a little dot on the back of my hand. And this is kind of like a matte brown color, so this is a great everyday shade for me. I'll show you as soon as I put it on my lid. It really blends out so beautifully. I would say go one at a time. You want a more intense look. I do find that a brush helps keep the pigment stronger but for me when I'm just trying to do like a light wash of color I really enjoy using my fingers and just kind of blending it into the shape that I want. I really really want to try their like more metallic colors like I saw they have a purple, there's a beautiful gold, they have so many great colors and again pigment is just so great. So I kind of apply it with the finger that actually has product on it and then I take a clean finger as I would with a clean brush and kind of diffuse it until I get the amount of pigment that I want. For me, I love the sheer wash that this can give and it's such a great everyday shade for me. It's just like enough depth without it feeling overdone. I don't wear mascara on a daily basis so I'm just gonna leave my eyelashes curled like this. We move on to my complexion. I have two of their complexion products. I have the Bisu Blush in uh, Louise, and then I have the Balm Shine, uh, which is their like universal highlighter. I have to say, I love the packaging for all of these products. The design of the logo is just so beautiful and dainty, and it really feels like a piece of art. And though the like actual packaging is plastic, Plastic. It feels very luxe because of the custom top and the like use of, I want to almost call it like a brassy gold because it's not like a yellow gold. On a lot of this, it almost feels like there's a bit of an antique to it, a bit of a patina, so it's very pretty. I'm going to grab the blush in Luis. This concept is a blush and then um, there is a brush at the bottom. I personally don't use the brush at the bottom but one thing I do think is very clever about the design is the brush is detachable so you can actually wash it which I think is super clever and something that a lot of other two-ended products kind of overlook. I'm just gonna apply the blush right onto my cheek. This color really complements the eye shade that I have on because there's these kind of like tan undertones to it. This blush for me is not super pigmented which I don't mind because it almost gives very natural flush so it doesn't honestly look like I'm wearing blush in person. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and apply it into my crease. So I do wonder in terms of pigmentation on deeper skin tones how this would kind of behave and if you would just need so much of the product or if you wouldn't be able to see it and it would be more of like a shine on your skin like kind of like a luminosity but not a real blush shade and then like I said I do have the highlighter here which was out of stock for the longest time I remember really excited to actually get my hands on it I do find that I have to kind of warm it up a little bit it has a very subtle glow which I really enjoy I like when my highlighter just feels kind of like dewy skin and it's not super shiny noticeable like I just feel kind of like that glow you get either after being in the sun or like when you're in the candlelight it's just like very ethereal and then the last makeup product that I have from this brand is this lip product which I'm like a little bit nervous to actually use I haven't used this before you can hear moose walking around that's what's going on I haven't actually used this before. I know that it's long lasting. I also know that it is notoriously challenging to apply. So let's give it a shot. This is like their classic red tone. I know they've come out with other colors. But I'm gonna grab a mirror to be a little bit closer. All right, this is definitely one that I can't even talk through. I can definitely feel it drying as I'm going. Oh my, I definitely need more blush. This is a beautiful velvety color though. Definitely has a good amount of blue in it, so my teeth feel very white. Man, that is a tricky application. Oh shoot. Back in with blush, but really quickly before I do that, I'm just gonna try and soften the edges with the tissue so it doesn't look quite so harsh. Okay, let's do a little bit more blush. And it has totally dried down on my lip. It's not stiff, but I can tell the color's not going anywhere. It's always incredible to me how quickly red 
can drain color from your face. So I see where <laughs> that applicator is a little bit tricky and maybe not the most user-friendly product, but once it's on, it is beautiful. I can take out my hair now. I did want to give one of their other products a quick shout out, which I don't have with me right now, but it's in my handbag. And that is the dry shampoo from this brand is unreal. It comes in a brush applicator and it's like some of the best dry shampoo I've ever tried. It just really lifts your hair from the roots, makes it look like you have washed your hair much more recently than I actually had. I've been using it now for like this entire eight month period and I am in love with it and will definitely buy the refill of it. I also just love how convenient it is to stick it in your bag and then pull it out whenever you need it for just a little touch up. And I have pretty dark hair as you can see and I don't get any like white cast from it. So overall, I would say my favorite products are actually probably the eyeshadow, the Boom Boom Milk, and then the dry shampoo. Those are what I've been really loving right now. Although I do enjoy using all the other products that I've tried and I'm sure these won't be the only Violet FR products that I purchase and try. You guys will have to let me know if you have tried any of their products and what you think. I know they've come out with uh, some other skincare and then, like I said, a few more of those eyeshadows and I'll have to take a peek on their site to see what else they've come out with. But I do know they have a really pretty uh, kind of like lipstick that seems very much up my alley. <laughs> very easy to throw in your handbag, pull out, and it doesn't feel overdone. So that's probably my next purchase with that uh, purple eyeshadow. Okay, I'm going to try and go outside and enjoy a little bit of sunshine today before I sit back down at my computer and start editing. But I hope you all are doing really well. I hope you enjoyed seeing these products that I've been using. If you've been curious about this brand too, then I hope this was helpful. And I will see you guys very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.